So I thought my first video about the camper build was going to be installing insulation, but I realized I had a more pressing issue that needed to be taken care of right away so that I can be using the camper out on the trail while I'm in the process of doing all of the customization and build out. And that is going to be to seal up around this tailgate. Now the tailgate of the Nissan Frontier has massive gaps all the way around it, and so it tends to suck dust into the bed of the truck. After researching options, I settled on this rock block kit. This was a purchase I made, this video is not sponsored in any way, and I have no affiliation with this company. The kit comes with a rubber membrane pre-lined with self-adhesive strips, along with other flexible seals for the sides of the tailgate, some cleaning swabs, and installation instructions. First, I had to remove the tailgate cover. Then everything needed to be thoroughly cleaned. The instructions said to wash with soapy water, rinse, and make sure the area is thoroughly dry. I used my heat gun to accelerate the drying, and then I used the provided alcohol wipes to further clean where the adhesive would be applied. Note, there are special instructions for if the bed of your truck is contoured along the bottom like mine is. The instructions suggest using painter's tape to create a temporary reference marking. Then use the supplied adhesion promoter along where the adhesive strips will be applied. Trucks with smooth beds can start at one side and work across, but for contoured beds they suggest starting in the middle and working outwards. I had to cut through the backing in the middle in order to start peeling it off. The instructions say to pull off about a foot of backing and then start working your way towards the bed rail, working the material into the contours of the truck with firm pressure. The instructions are basically just a type sheet of text with no diagrams and I had to refer back to it repeatedly to remember what it said to do at each step. It felt less intuitive without any illustrations, but eventually I got through it fine. I used more tape to mark where I needed to cut the ends to fit the tailgate frame. So I cut a little notch in mine because of this sort of rib that sticks out here. And hopefully that's the right thing to do. The instructions suggest using a roller or a hammer to go back over the adhesive with additional pressure. With the truck bed side done, it was basically the same process for the tailgate side. Make a reference line with tape, apply adhesion promoter, work outward from the middle, and trim as needed. So this rubber is pretty thick, and then where the adhesive is, it's even thicker. And so, I mean, it's, it's good and tough. I feel good about that. I'm a little concerned about how well I'm gonna get this back on there. I mean, the instructions definitely say this needs to be underneath anything like this. And I didn't want to put it on top of here in case I decide to replace this with something else, which I'm pretty sure I will do at some point. Uh, just a uh, flat surface instead of this ribbed thing. But I want to keep this on here for now. I don't know, that might be all right, actually. Okay, in any case, the tailgate has to sit open for um, at least 30 minutes. Um, before you put any stress on that adhesive. So we'll see about this later. And I got the full kit, which includes this um, seal to go along the edges. There you can kind of get a look at what this seal is. It's they have different suggestions for how to apply the side seals depending on the model of truck. And I had to look on their website for how to put this on the Frontier. I actually ended up doing this wrong, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. Without printed diagram instructions in hand, it was easy to misinterpret or misremember what I saw on the website once I actually started doing it. This looked right going on. For the frontier, the instructions indicated putting a small piece here, so I did. So this needs a little notch cut in it. Let's see if we can figure out exactly where that needs to be. Let's 
seems like that's still going to leave a space where air could flow through there and suck dust in. We might have to modify this a bit. Add something else in there. After allowing adequate curing time for the adhesive, I put the tailgate back together and check things out. So it's not a super smooth sort of interface, but I think it's just not possible with the contours of the bed of the truck. It does fold down in there. I mean, there's no way I'm getting dust in through there anymore. That was a huge, huge gap. Now I can see here, I must have really misunderstood on how to install that because that's not doing anything at all. All right, fortunately I have just enough of this left to do it again. Pull this off. Okay, so what I've done instead here is I s push this, stuck this much further out so it kind of sticks out. I took a couple of little scraps also and added it up here. They said to put it here, but I can still see light coming through there. So I put a piece here instead and that's looking pretty good. That's much better. That's much better. That bulb of that uh, strip is squeezed in between there. I can see just a little bit of light coming through down there. So I think like they said, some of that material on the corner of the tailgate itself. The kit also comes with a short piece of this much thicker seal and their instructions had said to put a piece of it in this corner here, but their instructions also did not show um, a truck that had this in place. What I'm gonna do is try and fit it in right in there and sort of tuck it down into that space there. So that's a little tricky to tuck down in there with the adhesive, you know, revealed. Um, and then very difficult to put pressure on the adhesive to make it stick. I'm just using a little screwdriver to try and press on it and hopefully that will stay. That left a bit of seal kind of loose. So I used some two-sided Gorilla Tape I had on hand to stick that to the tailgate a little better. So with my customization, uh, I am very satisfied that that is very sealed. There is just, oh, there's a little bit of light coming in right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work, a little bit more work there. So placement of that material is important. I ran out of time. I needed to get out on a trip into central and eastern Oregon. I've just got back. I had four days on some really dusty trails, and so the tailgate seal took got a real test. You can see how how dirty the back of the truck is. I have not unloaded the truck yet. You can see even after driving 200 miles home, like that managed to stay there. That's how much dust has been on here. Overall, over the course of the trip, I was very pleased with how little dust I got into the back of the truck. You know, I've got a little bit of dust in there, but even my, my mattress there is not poofing out a bunch of dust like I thought it would. Really overall, very pleased with the performance of this. And once I finish up uh, sealing a couple of little cracks that I didn't get to, uh, I think this is just gonna be fabulous. And I've opened and closed this tailgate countless times over the past several days. This has just stayed in place. I've dragged my bins out across it. I've stepped on it a number of times by mistake. It is, it is, seems solid. Overall, I'm happy with the performance and value of this kit. It has reduced the amount of dust getting in around the tailgate to almost nothing. And if I got a new truck, I would buy this again. Coming up next in the camper build series, I'll start working on my little couch slash storage slash nap spot. Thanks for watching.